All right, hi, welcome back, Attorney Steve Vonder, and happy Friday. Welcome back to Law School Hacks. Take one. All right, guys, I am going to share Attorney Steve Vonder here with you. I am going to share, I passed two bar exams. I'm going to share my number one hack, okay? My number one hack for law students, how to dominate, not just, not just get by, how to dominate law school. I'm going to tell you the one thing law professors don't want you to know. But of course, that's what we do on here. Without further ado, let's head to the attorney, Steve. Slay the bar, whiteboard. Okay. So um, this is a trick I learned, and I'm just going to give you a personal story that was really cool. So I'm going through my first year of law school. I was kind of struggling. Uh, there's so many concepts. Like you get in there, you're taking contracts and torts and criminal law, civil procedure. You're taking all these classes, and they're just, you know, some of them are like, frankly, like foreign languages. Like if you look at a real property law, that's like a foreign language. But I'm in the library and I'm just studying and I'm kind of scratching my head or sighing or something. And this guy across the, the table from me goes, he goes, hey, uh, you know, what's up, man? I said, I don't know. You know, st this stuff's a little confusing to me. And I think I was looking at like the rule against perpetuities or something. He's like, guy, guy, he was, uh, he said, let me tell you something. I'm a 3L. Let me tell you how to dominate. I said, what? He said, look, they have all these old cassette tapes, right? There was actually an old used bookstore uh, in Anaheim that had these used law books. And he said, go in there and buy the bar review tapes for the particular course you're having trouble with. Best off, buy them all. And I said, okay, well, geez, I, does, I didn't really realize there were bar review tapes. You know, that was, you know, three years away. So I wasn't even thinking about it. So I went and I got the contracts just to try it out. And so I went through the whole uh, set of tapes. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you that it's right here. This was the trick. Now, don't laugh because these are cassette tapes. Don't laugh. Okay. A little bit older than you. So, uh, but they used to be cassette tapes. And I listened to all the cassette tapes. I write my outline. Step one, get the tape. Step two, pull up a Word document. Start creating your own outline, not relying on the outlines of other people. Everybody thinks a little bit differently. Start your Word document here and then supplement them with the classroom notes. This is very simple. One, two, three. Get the tapes or the videos, maybe CD-ROMs, DVDs, whatever it is. Get the bar review tapes in advance. Pay for them. You could probably find a U set. Um, don't go too old. You want to make sure you're not getting uh, quoting bad law or anything, but get the tape set, make your outline, then go into classroom. Okay. This is what professors, they, they want you coming in scared and like intimidated and go, oh my God. And you, they want you to just listen to them wax eloquently while you're trying to understand, well, what's the key point? What's the takeaway? What do I need to know? What's bar tested? I don't even know. Well, you know what's bar tested because you got it on the tapes. So I went and I did this. I dominated law school from there after. And so every time a new semester would start two weeks before, I would get the tapes. I would make my outlines and I would go to class ready like a champ because I knew what the issues were. I knew what some of the key cases were. Yes, it's extra work. Yes, it's a lot of time. But trust me, when you do all that, break it down, come here, and then you may hear some people talking about condensing their notes. This was a big thing, okay? So once I got here, I got my Word outline. I got my, I'm supplementing it with my class notes. I got this amazing outline. Everything's learning. Then you mash it down into smaller and smaller and smaller increments until you walk into the bar exam with a little sheet of paper. And you go, I don't even need this. You throw it over there. While everyone else is stressing out, you have just hacked law school. Hope this has been helpful. Feel free to share it to your law school students. Don't stress. It's doable. But a lot of times, hiding the eight ball here. Everybody says it. Everybody knows it, right? Hiding the eight ball. Don't let them hide the eight ball. Get the tapes. You got to run. Have a great Friday.